Right now at five, cleanup efforts are underway in Prairie du Chien as the city recovers from recent flood damage. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 5. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 5. I'm Ken Kozarowski. Cleanup is underway in Prairie du Chien after a record-setting flood damaged several homes. News 8 Now's Dua Isra was at the cleanup where turnout was so high, some volunteers had to actually be turned away, Dua. Ken, hundreds of community members came to help those affected by the flood. Many of them were teenagers from the local high school. Anyone who needed help cleaning their homes could call 211 and be added to a list. High school students and volunteers then went to several locations cleaning up debris and sandbags. Cleanup began around 9.30 a.m. and ended around 3 p.m. Carla Traster has lived in Prairie du Chien for 56 years. Traster says she's thankful for those volunteers. These kids are great. They're friendly and they're polite and nice. I can't say enough thank yous to these high school kids. City and county employees also work throughout the day to remove sandbags and other large debris. Some of those roads are still closed for cleanup. Residents are encouraged to follow all detour routes. Now, some of the high school students I spoke to say they were most excited to get their community cleaned up just in time for summer. Ken? I get that sentiment. Thanks very much, Dua. If you're in PDC and have damage to your property, be sure to report it to 211. Crawford County Emergency Management says they are collecting that info for possible aid from the state. In the meantime, a bit of a chillier day out in the Cooley region. Let's head over to Bill with the latest. Yeah, that cold front kind of backed its way south and west across the region last night. That's why it was cooler. It was also another hazy day from wildfire smoke aloft. Uh, this is from several wildfires in western Canada. And we've got a few clouds scooting through right now as well. So here's a live look through city cam. Uh, looks kind of dreary with the haze and some clouds scooting through. Uh, highs today only in the mid-60s for most. 66 in La Crosse, 65 in Eau Claire, and 64 in Viroqua. The haze probably kept us about 3 to 5 degrees cooler than where we could have been if we would have had a crystal clear blue sky with abundant sunshine. Now you can see uh, some of those clouds kind of spilling into the area from the north and west. Current temperature is still pretty close to our highs for the day between about 63 and 67 degrees. Partly cloudy, still hazy overnight tonight. Seasonable temperatures, uh, lows in the 40s and 50s, will be right around 50 degrees here in La Crosse. We'll probably keep that haze around, unfortunately, for tomorrow, but also chance for some showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Mm. I'll detail that in just a few minutes. Sounds like a plan. Thanks, Bill. Well, an investigation into a sheriff canine's death is underway in Monroe County. According to the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, the canine Colt was taken to a veterinary clinic last Wednesday after suffering a, quote, heat-related injury. The dog was then transferred to a clinic in Madison, but died Monday afternoon. Now, the Vernon County Sheriff's Office will be working with the Juneau County District Attorney's Office to do a full investigation. A Monroe County deputy is currently on administrative leave. Canine Colt started serving the Monroe County Sheriff's Office back in 2018. He was six years old. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers and state Republicans are coming closer to a deal to increase funding for local governments. Today, Evers says he is staying optimistic and hopeful that Democrats and Republicans can find a middle ground for local communities to grow through the so-called shared revenue program. Democrats had originally promised to veto the Republican proposed bill that was released recently, but Evers expects negotiations to continue for several more weeks. Introducing the newest Commodore and first mate for this year's Riverfest celebrations. Jake and Jesse Erickson of Lacrosse were chosen from a pool of area men and women for the title of Commodore and first mate. Jake is the CEO of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater Lacrosse, where he actually met his wife, Jesse. The Ericksons will reign over the 40th edition of Riverfest, and for someone who has been around the celebration since its first few years, Jake says that this is a very special moment for him and his family. Just looking forward to being part of this great tradition. And uh, I mean, Riverfest, when you think about Riverfest, it's summer, it's fun, it's family, um, it's music, it's people, and uh, we are just excited to be part of it. Although they will be Riverfest royalty this summer, Jesse says this opportunity extends beyond just Riverfest. We're looking forward to not just the you know, 4th of July activities and the whole Riverfest excitement, but also the year, all of the other um, amazing parades and um, festivities that we're going to be a part of and the people we're going to be meeting in the community, and we're really excited for that. 
Yeah, they'll be representing Riverfest in a multitude of community events. And the 40th annual Riverfest will be five days long this year from June 30th to the 4th of July at Riverside Park in La Crosse. The Ericsons will officially assume their roles at the Radisson Hotel June 13th during the Commodore dinner. It was a special moment for one of La Crosse's small business directors. Today, the U.S. Small Business Administration presented Mara Keyes with this year's Wisconsin Women's Business Center of the Year Award. Keyes has served as the regional project director for the Wisconsin Women Business Initiative Corporation since its inception back in 2021. Her team has created a revolving loan fund with the City of La Crosse, which has helped train 182 entrepreneurs. Keyes says she's grateful to be this year's recipient. I'm really honored to be recognized today. Um, I started in May of two years ago and six weeks later we opened our office here. This is one of three annual National Small Business Week awards given out across the state to SBA backed partners. Lung cancer is the number one cause of deaths worldwide. A new procedure at Mayo Clinic in La Crosse is hoping to reduce that number. News A now's Emily Haugen joins us live in studio to explain what it is and how it works. Ken, doctors at Mayo tell me that lung cancer diagnoses can be time consuming. The process can take months and by the time it's found, it could be too late. Dr. Mark Norton says early diagnosis is key. That's where this new tech comes in at Mayo. The robotic assisted bronchoscopy uses CT scan data to map out a person's airway. So then that map is plugged into a robot where doctors navigate the nodules. If we're able to do that in diagnosis in its early stage, then we actually have an opportunity uh, to cure it rather than just treat it and, and try to prolong survival. So the technology helps doctors safely navigate through the lungs. Doctors say it's a low risk procedure, so it's safer than other kinds of exams. Plus it's flexible and less invasive. One exam using the tech can get someone a diagnosis pretty quickly. Ken? Mind boggling. Thanks very much, Emily. Mayo in La Crosse has completed two of those since May 11th. And doctors say both procedures were successful and they're looking forward to seeing the difference it makes in those patients' lives. Atoma VA tradition is back to support veterans experiencing homelessness. Today is the organization's 13th annual VA 2K walk and roll event. Community members and veterans are invited to walk a 2K or just over a mile around the VA buildings. Community participants can bring voluntary donations for homeless veterans like transportation vouchers or disposable food utensils, but it's not required. One organizer says the event also helps the VA promote an active and healthy lifestyle for its employees. Finding opportunities to maybe park your car a little bit further away from the store, maybe just getting up from um, your work area or from the couch um, and doing just a, a lap out to the mailbox and back. Those things really add up over time. The VA says since 2011, $3 million in donations coming from events like these have gone to help homeless veterans. Today, Barachos is hosting a fundraiser for the La Crosse Jail Ministry. And the ministry hires a chaplain to provide counseling and religious services to inmates at La Crosse County Jail. So Barachos will give the ministry 25% of their food sales from 4 to 8 p.m. today. So you still have some time if you want to participate. Just be sure to tell the cashier that you're participating. We have more information on News8000.com. Just ahead, a new spin on the old Victory Garden. Some communities are now embracing a food forest trend. We'll explain right after this. Dr. Mehta knows pain. Oftentimes, I see patients with pain in their knees, their hips, their back, and it's actually coming from their feet. Her suggestion? It's as easy as going into a good feet store. Come in for your free arch support fitting. Whether your project is large or small, get 11% off it all at Menards. From aerosols, floor coating, stains, and more, our paint department has the quality Rust-Oleum products you need to bring your project to life. Rust-Oleum Stops Rust 5-in-1 Spray Paint is the first ever adjustable spray paint can. Choose from five different spray settings so you can get a professional finish on every project. A can is just $5.95 each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Toma Health's Warren's Clinic provides convenient quality care for same day or next day appointments. At Toma Health Warren's Clinic, we're able to see patients for cough, sore throat, ear pain, and other minor illness and injuries. An appointment can be scheduled by contacting the clinic and we'll get you in that day or the next. Warren's Clinic also offers occupational health services, such as pre-employment physicals and DOT exams. Toma Health Warren's Clinic offers convenient quality care when you need it most.
This is how legends are. 2024 Chevy Silverado HD with Duramax Diesel. And a Chevy Silverado with powerful Turbomax engine. No matter what route you take, there's a Chevy truck to get you there. Find new roads. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 LT Turbo Max pickups or current Chevy owners get 5250 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Visit hometownchevy.com. Breweries in Fountain, Minnesota. It's where you'll find the best furniture in the area. And now, during our Memorial Day sale, the prices are better than ever. Only at Drury's will you find store-wide sale prices, 24-month financing, and even free gas. You'll find incredible savings on furniture for every room in your home. From Daniels Amish, Smith Brothers, Flex Steel, and Stressless, all on sale. Great sale prices, 24-month financing, and even free gas. The Memorial Day sale, now at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. Gary knows golf. You need to have good balance, good support. Where to find that support? Two words, the Good Feet Store. How many words is that? <laughs> Swing by for your free arch support fitting. Expect more from News 8 Now. Thanks for watching. Cities across the country are looking for ways to help make sure people have access to fresh fruits and vegetables. As CBS's Jared Hill reports, some communities hope a growing food forest trend can help fill the need. Starting to grow? It's not much yet. This big shrub is an elderberry? But in Newark, the biggest city in New Jersey, a small forest is just starting to grow. A food forest is like a garden, but it's designed to try to mimic a natural ecosystem like a forest. The food forest at the New Jersey Institute of Technology is part of a global trend. Cities working to cultivate fruits and vegetables native to a particular region. It's hard to go more than probably 10 steps and not see some kind of food happening. Jay Olubayawu is the urban agriculture director for the city of Atlanta, home to what's considered the largest free public food forest in the country. The goal is for people to be able to come, you know, receive some level of nourishment, whether that's through food and or through programming and education and experience. Even with more food forests like this sprouting across the country, a big question is how long before they become a reliable resource for people struggling to access or afford fresh fruits and vegetables. This is one part of a problem that will require a lot of different kinds of solutions. Atlanta is working to expand its program to include community gardens and farmers markets. We want to make sure more and more people are fed. We have a city goal of 85% of residents being located within a half a mile of fresh affordable food. He's hoping now that the seed is planted, the idea will grow in cities nationwide. G they also hope these inspire people to plant local fruits and vegetables in their own yards. And experts also talk about how these can be beneficial for local wildlife, providing both food for pollinators like bees and butterflies. Coming up as the warmer weather continues to arrive, the benefits of cleaning your grill before you first fire it up. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl. It was definitely cooler today. We went from 80 yesterday to 67 for a high here in the cross. What does the next state days have in store? I'll have the answer with my eight-day forecast after the break. The Memorial Day floor sample sale at International Furniture is a rare opportunity for huge savings. Floor samples up to 60% off MSRP. All in stock pictures, lamps, rugs, and accessories, 50% off retail price. International Furniture, I-90, Exit 2, La Crosse. Trust the auto experts at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. You know us for tires and batteries, trust and care. Offering unbeatable deals on name brand automotive supplies and service. Like all Cooper or Goodyear tires, buy three, get one free. Save 10% on Monroe struts and shocks and get up to a $150 prepaid card with a qualifying purchase. Plus, rewards members get five core jugs of Sitco SuperGuard motor oil for just $19.99 after rebate. Tires and batteries, trust and care. A Blaine's Farm and Fleet promise since 1955. Every piece of land has a story written by those who work it. Like the Caggianos, who are brewing their own legacy. Or the Upshaws, who DIY all the time. While the Nelsons play lead in their own adventure, 150 years in the making. There's a story in every piece of land. Run with us and start telling yours. Talk to the John Deere experts at Tractor Central to find out which equipment is just right for your property. Start now at TractorCentral.com. 
Joey, when are you going to get that new patio furniture you promised me? Uh-huh. You going to go through the entire summer with no cookout? You're supposed to be such a grill master. Maybe tomorrow. You know what would be nice? One of those fire tables when we sit outside in the evening? Ah, that'd be nice. Have you been listening to a word I've said? Get ready for summer now. Come in and see the great selection of patio furniture, grills, and fire tables at American Home Fireplace and Patio, West Salem. As a veteran of our country's armed services, you have already made the ultimate sacrifice. Through no fault of your own, you may be experiencing hardships, such as the inability to pay rent, utilities, or receive other life-sustaining services. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin. No Wisconsin veteran should ever have to face homelessness or lose heat, power, or water again. The Memorial Day Floor Sample Sale at International Furniture is a rare opportunity for huge savings. Floor samples up to 60% off MSRP. All in stock pictures, lamps, rugs, and accessories, 50% off retail price. International Furniture, I-90, Exit 2, La Crosse. Stories are told on our Instagram at WKBT News 8. Or you can always find us at News8000.com. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. The increasingly better weather likely has you fired up to light up your grill with barbecue season upon us. It's important to remember cleaning your grill can help improve its efficiency and reducing a potential hazard. But it's not clear how often you should be cleaning those grills. Well, Jeff Wagner got his hands dirty to find out. Do you think people clean their grills as often as they should? <laughs> well, if you ask me if I do, absolutely not. Robert Anderson owns Anderson Barbecue Supply in Vadness Heights. You cook, you let your grill cool down, you eat dinner, and then you probably have some dishes to do, and you kind of forget about it. Until you open the grill again. Oh, boy. And get that grimy reminder. Not too dirty, I think. If we're cleaning a grill, no matter if it's gas or charcoal, what are the main tools you need? Probably, I would say three for sure. You want to have a good... Um, natural based cleaner. Not only does it tackle grease well, but the natural ingredients are non toxic. Dish soap and water will also work. Use either when the grill is cool. Next, I always say a nice hard wire brush. I like the hard coils on them because they're not going to fall off in your food. Steel brushes work best on grates when the grill is hot before and after use. Oh, yeah, it's getting cleaner. Or with cleaner when cool. Lastly, for the tough stuff. I have just like a little paint scraper. Pick it up at the hardware store. When it comes to a gas grill, what does regular cleaning look like? Most importantly with gas grills is the heat deflector that's over your propane burners is to keep them clean of grease. I'm a little embarrassed with how dirty these got, not gonna lie. If you let that grease build up in there, that's gonna give you a fire later. Clean the heat deflectors just like you clean the grates. And don't forget to tackle the grease buildup beneath the burners, not regularly, but at least a few times a year. For charcoal grills, you want to make sure you have airflow, so you don't want any charcoal dust or ash sitting around those vents. Like on this Weber kettle, they have the bottom little latch where you can shake it back and forth, and it's going to open up those vents. Pellet grills have grown in popularity. Getting rid of the ash at the bottom by the fire pot is a priority. Anderson prefers a shop vac to clean it after nearly each use. No matter how you grill, keeping it clean is key. Your food will taste better, cook more evenly, and prevent fire hazards. Just, yeah, keep it clean and don't neglect it, and you'll be okay. Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. Another pro tip, once your grill cools, you can try rubbing vegetable oil on the grates. That'll help prevent food from sticking next time, which will make cleaning it even easier. And I mean, around this time of year, it feels like Bill should have a uh, grilling forecast because we're starting to get more consistent temperatures where anyone who wants to be grilling, you might have that opportunity. Absolutely. And uh, it's going to be several months where we'll have grilling weather. In oh, fact, yeah. some of you even grill when it's cold and snowing. It just all depends on uh, what your tolerance is, I guess. All right, allergy report, medium to low symptoms today and tomorrow for mulberry, high to medium for oak and tree pollen in general. Allergy Associates tells us that mulberry tree pollen in the latest air sample is a sign we're getting closer to the end of tree pollen season. So some good news there, unless you're, of course, sensitive to mulberry pollen. All right, kind of a 
gloomy look through CityCam. We've got the haze from the smoke aloft from the wildfires in western Canada. A little deck of clouds moving through as well. And that haze kept us uh, probably about three to four degrees cooler than where we could have been if we would have seen uh, clear sunshine and blue sky. 67 was the high, so that's six degrees below average. 92 and 29, the records for today, and no rainfall. 66 degrees out at the La Crosse Airport, 67 downtown. Uh, winds out of the east southeast at about five to 10, and the Mississippi continues to slowly drop 9.74 feet. Chippewa River rising a little bit, 65 degrees for you folks in Eau Claire. Again, similar conditions for you with some passing clouds and that smoky haze all across the tri-state area. Now, uh, the reason we're cooler, we had that cold front kind of back its way in from the north and east last night. So that has uh, much of the Great Lakes uh, unseasonably cool right now. But what's going to happen, we have this front attached to this low over southern Canada. That's going to track through the region tomorrow. Now, as it does, some warmer air lifts into the area. But we'll have a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms heading into tomorrow afternoon and into part of tomorrow night as well. So you can see where that cooler air has settled into play. Uh, 50s and 60s all across the Great Lakes, but notice the warmer air just on the other side of that boundary. And that's what we're going to tap into as we head into our Thursday. But today, uh, again, it was cooler than average. Uh, temperatures currently between about 63 and 67 degrees across the region. Winds generally from the east southeast at around 5 to 10, and sky trackers showing a dry night again just the haze and a few clouds clouds increase tomorrow likely still hazy as well then the cold front starts to spawn some scattered showers and thunderstorms as we head into tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening as these continue to track through through about midnight, we'll see some scattered showers and then pretty quiet after that. Friday's looking mainly dry, maybe a few spits and sprinkles, especially up to the north and east, but it will be cooler on Friday. Now, the Storm Prediction Center has our area kind of in a bullseye of a level one risk for an isolated strong and severe storm tomorrow afternoon, maybe some gusty winds and hail. I'm not overly uh, impressed with the chance right now, but just something uh, I will keep an eye on for you as we head into tomorrow afternoon and evening. So for tonight, partly cloudy, hazy, seasonable though. Uh, lows in the 40s and 50s for most, right around 50 degrees in the cross. For tomorrow, clouds increase, still hazy, warmer though, 76 for the high with that uh, scattered shower and thunderstorm chance in the afternoon and into part of tomorrow night. Cooler on Friday, a few sprinkles, especially to the north. Highs only around 61, but a really pleasant stretch of weather Saturday through Tuesday. Highs mainly in the 70s and mainly dry. And then at least slight chances for some showers and thunderstorms return around Wednesday or Thursday of next week, but warmer as well. Highs creep into the lower 80s. But uh, man, you'd hate to deal with this haze that yeah. we've been dealing with the last two days. You kind of miss that blue sky and sunshine. It definitely sure. is a bit of a bummer. Yeah. All right, Bill. Thanks very much. Right. When we come back, the new movie that's taking a look at the smartphone that dominated the scene before Apple took over. Come explore and plan your next home improvement project at the Boards Door Home Improvement's historic eight-building showroom, 524 Copeland Avenue, La Crosse. When Derek Van Orden wanted your vote, he signed the U.S. Term Limits Pledge. But now, Congressman Van Orden is breaking his U.S. Term Limits Pledge. Term Limits Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. Here at The Y, we offer more than just a job. We offer the chance to make a difference in a fun, flexible environment where our mission and core values drive every decision we make. Join us in this amazing work. For specific positions and details, visit our website. Welcome to ESCO. Welcome to huge selection and savings. What's this spring like? Free flowers. All month long, save up to 20% off store-wide. Plus, as a thank you, get $50 worth of free flowers from Sparta Floral when you spend $499 or more. Buy a sofa, get free flowers. Buy a fridge, get free flowers. Buy some flooring, get free flowers. While you're picking up your free flowers, buy some more flowers. Let's go in Sparta, where white glove delivery and setup is always free. Tell them Peyton sent you. This time of year has many different names. We call it Showtime. It's when there's work to be done and fun to be had. Plus, it's time for Auto Show, where you can experience new Ford SUVs firsthand. Then head to your Northland Ford dealers for exclusive offers like 0% financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on select Ford SUVs. It's Showtime. Hurry in today. Now for a limited time only, get 0% financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on select Ford SUVs. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. 
Here at The Y, we offer more than just a job. Experience the personal satisfaction that comes from nurturing the potential of youth and teens, improving our community's health and well-being, and providing support to our neighbors. Join us in this amazing work. Diapers in politicians must be changed often, and for the same reason. And already something stinks about Derek Van Orden. Now politician Van Orden is breaking his U.S. term limits pledge. Term limits action is responsible for the content of this advertising. <laughs> you expect more. So thank you for watching News 8 Now. Picture a cell phone and an email machine all in one thing. There is a free wireless internet signal all across North America and nobody has figured out how to use it. Apple may dominate the smartphone market, but another company paved the way for the iPhone. This film starring Glenn Howerton, Matthew Johnson, and Jane Brookerl, who said he was still using his BlackBerry when Johnson pitched him this film, so-called BlackBerry, is actually out right now. We will have a look at what's coming up at 6 when we come back, and Bill will be back in for another check of tonight's forecast. It's Holmes Memorial Day Sale with a large selection of in-stock furniture on sale up to 30% off. Plus, get no money down, no minimum purchase, six-year special financing, and free shipping during the Memorial Day Sale, only at Home Furniture. Are you in need of a new water heater? Here at Maxwell White, we offer the best solutions for homeowners in La Crosse and the surrounding areas. Being the best means installing the best. Our American-made Bradford White water heaters can revolutionize your home and give you the home comfort you've always wanted. Contact Maxwell White today to find out how a professionally installed Bradford White water heater is right for your home. Our expert technicians will answer all of your questions and find the best possible solution for you. Maxwell White, plumbing done right. The GMC Sierra with hands-free driving. Yeah, it rocks. Step up to GMC with 0.9% APR and no monthly payments for 90 days on Sierra Light Duty models. Visit your best choice GMC dealer today. To everyone who appreciates a handcrafted meal, are you ready for a taste of Wisconsin? Butterburger's cooked fresh, just the way you like. The way you love. Definitely love. And our thick and creamy frozen custard, we make it for you all throughout the day. All day. All day, every day. Put it in the extra work and not cutting corners. It takes a little longer. But it's how we've always done it at Culver's. Because making your meal with care shows how much we care. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to delicious. Hey, have you seen that realtor with all those billboards? Hold my beer. Get local, award-winning injury lawyers. Get Nicolay. During the Memorial Day sale at Home Sleep Express, save up to $500 on Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets. Plus, get a free $300 home shopping card with free delivery, setup, and a 120-night guarantee. The Tempur-Pedic Memorial Day sale at Home Sleep Express. Well, passing clouds tonight, hazy due to that wildfire smoke aloft. Seasonable lows in the 40s and 50s, right around 50 in the cross. Still hazy tomorrow, 76, and watch for some scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening. All right, thanks a lot, Bill, and thanks for joining us tonight at 5. We'll see you at 6.